We finally get some more Titan Quest 2 news. Let me show you what the most recent announcement is all about. It was announced that they would give monthly updates, so this is the first one that we get. On February 2nd, THQ made another post on the Titan Quest 2 Steam page. We get three concept art images and two in-game landscape images, as well as explanatory texts from the developers giving insights into their choices for environment and world building. The first bit of the devlog is interesting. Naturally, the original Titan Quest was our first point of reference when building the world of Titan Quest 2. The original game is a classic for a reason, and its vibrant, welcoming world is still a standout among action RPGs. I am relieved to hear that they stick to Titan Quest 1. When a completely different developer starts to work on a sequel, it is possible that they want to do everything differently than the earlier games did it. Thankfully, this doesn't seem to be the case here. This was to be assumed, because core game mechanics from Titan Quest 1 are expected to be the same in Titan Quest 2. For example, the hero class system, where you combine two masteries. The devlog continues with, we want our world to capture the same feeling of fantastical adventure across a picturesque Greek landscape. So we looked closely at the original game as well as the vibrant natural environment of Greece itself when concepting the game's world. This sentence is interesting. It seems Starter Quest 2 will be set in Greece only because the devlog only mentions Greece, Greek mythology and Greek gods. The previous Titan Quest from 2006, which was relaunched 10 years later in the Anniversary Edition, had a big variety of lands. Apart from Act 1 Greece, there is Egypt, Asia, with later updates or DLCs, even the Netherworld, Northern or Scandinavian Europe, Atlantis and partly Africa and then even more China. It is possible that Titan Quest 2 also has another setting than Greece in store for us, but it has never been mentioned, so I think the new game will be set in Greece only, which is fine. If done well, Greece only can be enough. I am sure Grimlaw Games will make the game have enough variety that it doesn't matter if the game plays out in Greece only. The game's environments can still be vastly different from one another, like Greek meadows, Greek mountains, caves, the seaside, rivers, lakes, swamps, temples, rocky kind of deserts, areas and so on. The development log goes on with while some of the game's locations are recognizable from history, Titan Quest 2's versions of these places is decidedly fantastical. This was to be expected, and this is how it was handled in Titan Quest 1 as well. Of course, there were important landmarks like the Egyptian pyramids, the Sphinx, or the Acropolis in Greece. With the game being a fantasy game, the environment was fantastical as well and it was only loosely based in the real world. This seems to be the case for Titan Quest 2 as well. And this is the right way to handle it, in my opinion. The last paragraph of the devlog mentions building a handcrafted world. It continues with, so our designers have built the world by hand, without procedural generation. This is also called proc gen which means that the area of a level is randomly generated. One playthrough never has the same path as another. In Diablo 2 this was the case. I often remember running across the map mindlessly until I found a random waypoint or exit. Titan Quest 2 will not have that. Just as in Titan Quest 1, which also didn't have a proc gen, each level area is the same on every startup of the game. I like this variation more than proc gen, because once you remember the path of a certain area, you can go as fast as possible if you so desire. You still can explore the whole area and uncover the whole map at a slower pace later. 
The devlog explains the reasoning behind the choice of using a handcrafted world in favor of proc gen. They want to give the player a payoff for wandering off the main path and discovering more hidden parts of the map. This should bring that same feeling of discovery, adventure and danger. Let's take a look at the images that are provided in this announcement. In the first one we get an artwork, a bird's eye perspective of Greece after a heavy rainfall. The image and the perspective looks awesome, with some parts of the land being darkened by clouds and others being lit up in the morning sun. This is also an artwork. We see a hero in front of an entrance to a temple that is built inside a mountain. The hero has a weird helm and is on horseback. I hope in the real game there won't be horses to ride. I know some other action role playing games has mountable horses in them, but I don't think it would be a good idea to have them in Titan Quest 2. In the game's predecessor, Titan Quest 1, there were also no horses and this was fine. This artwork looks very good as well. You get a sense of foreboding danger from it, because everything looks nice from the outside, but you don't know what might hide in the shadows of inside the temple. The third image, which is also an artwork and no in-game graphics, looks good as well. You can also hear the faint sound of the stream. You get a sense of peacefulness and feel the vibe of ancient Greece. Put some centaurs, satyrs and nymph in there and I will love it. This image seems to be in-game graphics. This looks really good. We know that the game will be based around the Unreal 5 engine, which is capable of almost photorealistic graphics that don't look too different from reality. I was very happy to hear that Titan Quest 2 will have the new Unreal Engine, because that somehow ensures that the graphics will be very good. The engine is capable of producing very lifelike graphics that offer a new level of realism to video gaming. Of course, Titan Quest 2 will not try to be realistic with all the fantasy, monsters, magic and so on, but the environment and landscape will look realistic. For that the Unreal 5 engine is perfect. For the last image, we also get some in-game graphics. This time, the shot is a bit more interesting than the other. Some things look a bit rushed, but the image overall looks awesome. Just imagine the weeds and the meadows waving in the wind and the goats in the background moving realistically. I think the watermelon in the lower left of the corner might indicate that some parts of the world are destructible which would be absolutely awesome. Now we covered the whole announcement. Let me know what you think of the latest news. Subscribe for covering of the monthly updates on Titan Quest 2. Once the game is out, I will provide the best hero guides and hero ideas, as well as game mechanic and item explanations. So we can look forward to that. Thanks for watching. Bye.